It took me a second to get the lineups and pitching rotation and all the moves sorted for the Mariners, and it's not perfect for MLB The Show 24. It's not great. I'm not going to lie. It's not. It was It was a headache kind of to set up. They had Josh Rojas leading off, guys. But JP batting leadoff, Julio batting second, Polanco batting three, Garver four, Cal five, Mitch six, Rayleigh seven. Could be Dom Canzone, but Dom Canzone's only 66 right now. So, you know, let it be. Ty France batting eighth, Josh Rojas batting ninth versus lefties. Basically the same thing. Got Dylan Moore in there instead of Rayleigh with, you know, Cal's not going to catch every game. So this would be Sebi at some point. They tried to have Garver back there. I'm not allowing it. I'm not allowing Mitch Garver to catch if I can avoid it. Um, I did have to sign Ryan Stanek. Um, the bullpen is chalk because they don't have guys like Tyson Miller or who out like Ty Buttry might make, you know, might make the roster. Joey Crable's available, but Levi Stout, Austin Voth, why not? Obviously Sauce, I have Ty Adcock, Trent Thornton, Gabe Spire, Ryan Stanek, and Andres Munoz with the rotation as such. Last year, we made the playoffs by simulation. Can we do it again? We're going to go month by month, just like last time. We're, it's go, it goes so fast. We're just above 500. Doing pretty good there. First month of the season, first 30 games, 16 and 14, two games above 500. Not too bad, not too shabby. One game back of the Texas Rangers. I did take into account, someone said last year I need to adjust the sliders. I did that. I did adjust the sliders so there not very many injuries would happen. And of course, something that I hate about MLB The Show, I set a lineup, I have lineups for myself to be like, yes, I am in charge of that. And it goes and just resets it. So, so we're just going to let it roll, guys. Like, do I have? Do I really need to do this every single time? Where's Mitch Garver? Is he hurt? Why didn't he tell me if he was hurt? Injured list. Mitch Garver, fractured arm. Oh, my goodness. Guys. Like, I don't... Am I dumb? Where's injuries? Injury management. Manual. I am con in control of handling my injured players and will be notified of any, any injury? Bruh. How come I wasn't notified that my starting DH was injured? It's chalked. Okay, well... After the first month, JP's batting 211. I understand why he may not be batting leadoff. Julio only one home run in the 30, first 30 games. All-star bust, not going to happen. Jorge Polanco has seven bombs, but only 10 RBI. I don't know if that makes sense. Cal, six homers, 15 RBI. Rayleigh batting 208. Josh Rojas should be the leadoff hitter. He's batting 355. Somehow, someway, Ty back to his hitting ways, hitting 320. Mitch at the bottom of the lineup, only eight runs driven in, and Urias there. Pitching rotation has stayed pretty solid. Decent ERAs except for Gabe, ouch, nine ERA. Trent Thornton, solid. Ty Adcock, solid. Ryan Stanek, a bust. Shouldn't have signed him. Bad. Levi Stout, not good. Luis Castillo, good. That's a Cy Young through the first month of the season if I've ever seen one. Kirby doing okay. Gilbert looking good. Miller and Wu, not as good, but they're young. They'll develop. On to the next month. We take a dub. We lose the series to the Astros. We lose three, two out of three to Oakland. Guys, it goes so fast. Poor month of May, as is tradition for the Mariners. We are under 500 and eight games back of the surging Texas Rangers. Who's on the injured list? Okay, Garver should be back. And he's just not in the lineup. I hate this game. <laughs> this game is so dumb. We are well into the season to where I think I can reinstate Matt Brash to the MLB. And I can move Gregory Santos to the MLB. We're going to move Gabe Spire out of that role and put Santos there. And that looks, that looks better to me. The bullpen... I think I honestly should have changed it in the previous month, but, you know, benefit of the doubt to the injuries. Maybe it takes a little bit longer for them to get back. Don't want to buff the Mariners too much. We're simulating to the end of June now, and look at us. Starting off hot in June. We're above 500 again. I don't care about the Texas League. 44 and 41 through June. The Rangers are so good. 
we need to we need to take a look at some standings. We're ten games back, only two and a half of the wild card, which is good. The Rangers bought, not built. Braves doing good as per usual. Brewers, wow. Dodgers as expected. Diamondbacks, go snakes. Orioles doing well. Red Sox in last, unfortunate for them. Twins leading the pack in the Central. Colton's pick for the Royals, not looking so hot. The Mariners only 44 and 41. Run differential of negative 30 right now. Let's go to awards. Awards? No. Yiner Diaz getting huh? MVP votes? That's crazy, by the way. Cy Young? Castillo's got to be there. Jacob DeGrom, he'd be injured. This is, this is chalked. I can't, I don't want to go through and control all the injuries, guys. All right. Munoz doing well. 28 saves for Munoz. Very cool. Rookie of the year? Wow. The Hank Aaron Award. Two Yankees, by the way. That's going to be a scary combo if they do work out. Gold gloves. Fantastic. Sure. Great. Don't really. I'm sorry. Did that say Masataki Yoshida getting a gold glove? That's insane. I was going to say I don't care, but I think I should care. Julio going to get snubbed again. Shame. Silver Sluggers. Cows. You know, he's right there. Just low RBI totals. And I will never understand that. And it, is it because the lineup construction is just chalked again? Like, I what what does a man got to do to get Mitch Garver into this freaking lineup? <laughs> Let's simulate to the All-Star game and see if any Mariners make the All-Star game. All right. Don't care about the draft. Who cares? Skelp. 52 and 46. Doing all right. Awards. All-Star voting. Yo, Castillo and Gilbert. Pog money dude look at the look at us george kirby did i jinx him i'm wearing my kirby my kirby all-star game jersey did i jinx him no way moon oh wait closer munoz right there bang money cow has a chance maybe not though ty's having a solid year batting 322 just does not have the like the counting stats for it second base honestly if josh rojas does this dude good for him I know he's technically third base here, but yeah, where was Polanco in that? Down low? Too slow? Luis Urias? Yeah. JP? Okay. On the outside looking in, but not bad. Yeah, left field, Luke Rayleigh. Nice try. Center. The fact that Julio's the fact that Julio's not gonna make it over Asturi Ruiz is crazy. The fact that Asturi Ruiz is gonna have more votes than Julio Rodriguez is absurd. And Judge getting moved to center is just cheating, by the way. But Julio is having a down year. Josh Rojas, the second leading vote getter at DH, is hilarious, by the way. But yeah, starting pitching go burr, dude. Starting pitching go crazy. All right, let's simulate to the end of the month. No, I don't want to stop simulating. We won the All-Star game. We're the best. See, we're hot in the summer. We're hot in the summer. 61 and 48 now. We've got to be. Who's on the injured list? Brock Rodden? Cool. Sorry, Brock. We've got to be in a, in a wild card. We are second in wild card. We are hot. We are now plus 30 in run differential. We are cooking. The team is cooking. Maybe MLB The Show's got it right. Maybe Josh Rojas should be batting leadoff because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Julio's on fire now. That's exciting. Top five guys in the order on fire. Mitch Garver. Why'd we sign him? He's got 111 at-bats on the season through the All-Star break. Like, just give it a rest, guys. Just stop trying to fit him into the lineup somewhere. We're putting Polanco down at the bottom. We'll get Garver in there somewhere. Hanniger's doing okay. Ty still batting, you know, above 300. That's what we want. Just maybe a little bit more pop, but, you know, it's looking good. But the pitching has been money, dude. Oh my, and Kirby's Kirby's not even having a bad year. It's mainly Miller and Wu that are just little yikes. Vargas is there, both's there now. Got Santos, only 10 and 2 thirds. Okay, yeah, doing okay. No runs allowed, by the way, sure. Sauce still having a decent year. For MLB The Show standards, Brash, only 4 and a third, but you know. Gotta be careful with him. Munoz is doing the heavy lifting, though. All-star. For a good reason through the end of August. Don't care about my draft picks. This is a one-year 
simulation, guys. All right. We're, we're kind of choking. We choked a little bit there. There was a stretch there. We lost... Oh, gosh. Three to Los Angeles, which makes sense. Two to Pittsburgh is just... Should not be allowed. We fell very far back in the standings. We are one game back of the wild card. We're fighting the Angels and the Astros. Lord have mercy on my soul. What are we to do? The Rangers are running away with the division, by the way. Just absolutely running away. Let's take a look at some awards here before we get to the end of the year. Judge, MVP. Cy Young. What is this? What is? Why are we still caring about wins when his ERA is one and a half lower? I am calling. I need a recount. If DeGrom wins, it's... it's that's such baloney, dude. Will Smith? Pause. Colton, you might be onto something. Evan Carter, regression? We win? Gold Glove, whatever. Snore, boo. Julio's not there. Cringe. Guys, what, what are the Mariners doing? Nothing? This is unbelievable. We'll get to here. We lose. Fantastic. We get a big series win in Oakland. Big series win against Texas. Okay. We're still behind the Astros, but I think we're eliminated from the division. That's okay. We are in a tiebreaker with the Angels for, oh boy, for the final wild card spot. This is, this is big. Rojas still killing it. My guy, my goat. JP, good year. 13 over, 60 driven in. Julio, a down year, but still pretty okay. Cal, 21 homers, 70 run, 71 RBI, solid. If Rayleigh's putting up 80 ribbies, dude, I'm in. Ty France, finally below 300, but 14 homers, 61 RBI. Coming off last year, I mean, with a higher average, that's actually not bad. Polanco, I mean, good, good power offensive output, I'd say. Mitch, yeah. And then Urias, if we can just, can we just give Urias' counting stats to Garver, please? Yeah, 23 homers and 73 RBI. That's where I'm probably thinking for Garver at this point of the season. It's just MLB The Show is trolling me. Okay. We're in a playoff spot. No games against the Angels left. I'm going to simulate to the beginning of that series. Three losses against the Yankees is an ouch bay, but we bounce back against the Rangers for three in a row, but we lose to Houston. We are still ahead of the Angels. And we're a half a game ahead of them in the wild card. 84 and 73 as it stands. Win. Win against Houston. Keep winning. Keep winning. Two games up on the Angels with four to play against the Athletics, dude. No, not four. Three against the Athletics. We'll go game by game. We take a dub. We take a loss. The Angels are three back. I think, I think mathematically, we've got it. We're in the wild card with 88 and 74. We will be playing the Orioles in the first round of the playoffs. Castillo with four shutouts? Yeah, right. Josh Rojas led the league in hits. The 192, you've got to be kidding me. Oh my lord, 192 hits, tie second, 168. And Julio, just not as good of a year. Only 540 ABs, you need more than that. I mean, Rayleigh had a pretty solid year. That's the that's the Luke Rayleigh that we traded for right there. And once again, Mitch Garver is just not in the lineup. Why is Carlos Vargas starting? Uh-oh, we don't, do we not have Gilbert? Oh no, no Gilbert. Oh, that's that's brutal. So, George Kirby versus Kyle Bradish. We got stomped 11 to five. Ouch. Corbin Burns versus Luis Castillo. We take a dub. John Means against Bryce Miller to move to the ALDS. We advance, we make it further than we did last year in the simulation and we have to play Texas, the division rivals. Maybe not rivals, but the division winners who ran away with the division. Logan Gilbert is now available for the Mariners in this series. He's getting the ball in game two. We lose five to six in Texas. 
We lose two to three in Texas. We got to take against John Gray and Tyler Maley. We've got to take these dubs. A 3-0 sweep in the division series against the Texas Rangers. It feels reminiscent of 2022, but that's all she wrote for the Seattle Mariners and MLB The Show 24. Thank you guys for watching, and go Mariners. Thank you.